Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Clouds and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a beginner's tutorial of Cinema 4D on how to create 3D text and make it look somewhat decent. So the first thing you want to do is open up a Lightroom that you have. And if you don't have a Lightroom, I'm going to link you down in the description of the Lightroom that I'm currently using. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and go up here and you're going to hold your left mouse button and you're going to select text. Now you can either select that, you can either do that, okay, that's one option, or my favorite option that I like doing is, I believe, let's see where it is, it might be, where is it? I'm going to find it. The fact that I passed it, like I don't even know how many times before I actually got to it, is pretty sad. So you want to go up to MoGraph and you want to go to MoText. Um, now we can go ahead and center this. <clears throat> Of course we can always change the camera up here if you didn't know that uh, you basically just go up here that's for rotating this is for the how far back or how far forward you want it and this is just to move it upwards um, so we go down here we go to object uh, make sure that motex is selected go down to object and enter whatever text you want so uh, let's go ahead and just do mine um, and I'm going to be using the same font that I did for my banner. So if you guys don't see my YouTube banner, just go ahead and look at that real quick. And I'm using that font, which is the Triforce font, uh, if you guys don't know. I will have a link down to it in the description if you want to use that. If you are a Legend of Zelda fan, if not, then use whatever font that you have. So you go down and you select the font that you want by going up to down here below the text and selecting the font. And it's going to pop up like this. Now you're going to want to um, make a material. Uh, basically, what a material does, if you didn't know, it uh, changes the cover or the color of the text, um, so or whatever object that you have. So we're going to go down and we're going to select new material. Uh, we're going to go to color, and uh, we can make it whatever color we want. So again, I'm going to be making it purple since uh, that's the uh, kind of color that I have currently on the um, banner. Now, uh, what you can do, um, and this is just, you know, this is what I like to do. Uh, you want to go down here, you're going to go to metal, and just make sure that the metal isn't too bad. So, um, if you go up to the width, the higher the width, the uh, less the black is going to be. So, if we do that, let's just go ahead and drag it on there, and we see what the render is like. That's going to be a light purple. Um, and if we go ahead and we go back to that material and let's say we lower it some more it's gonna be well a darker purple per se uh, I like this a lot better than a lighter purple so we're gonna be using that uh, it's gonna look different on here because the light room makes it to where it has the lights on and makes it a bit more vibrant and uh, colorful so from there what you want to do is um, click the Motex and you go to the depth uh, from the object and this is what increases the uh, 3D uh, depth that you see so the higher this goes the uh, more popping out it's gonna be and I like to leave it on around 130 130 is pretty good for this kind of text um, but do whatever you want uh, one of the things that you can do and I don't typically do this but you can uh, go ahead and I think we're gonna just hold control juiced uh, we're going to make a new copy and we're going to make the let's rotate this real quick the depth smaller we're gonna make it about half uh, right there and we're going to move it to about the middle and we're gonna add caps and what this does is gonna make it really pop out uh, I like to do this steps around like two and this around four um, so as you can see if we go ahead and we see the preview of it um, it's gonna make it pop out a little bit more it makes it add a uh, little I guess what you want to call it an outline to it I guess and from there you can add that uh, I typically don't like doing that just for the sake of it and you want to go back to MoGraph with MoTeX selected, go to Vector, 
and I believe it is called random. And what this does is randomize the letters. Uh, a lot of people use this if they're making intros, so like if you go to a factor and you go to strength, uh, if it's separated like this, they use the effector and they do go each frame by frame to where the strength keeps going down and that's going to make it all end up uh, showing the text. Now basically what you want to do is go to parameter, uh, uncheck position, check rotation, uh, this is what I typically do. And this, um, when you see that I have the effector, have that up, this is going to change the rotation of the letters. Um, so it's going to look far different from the text that you use. It's going to look a lot different from what font that you use as well. So it all just all depends what you really want. And so that makes it go up, down. You might just go like that, leave it probably at zero. And I believe this goes maybe from side to side. Oh no, it goes like this. So if you want to make tilted text like that uh, and you want to render it out, that's exactly what it's going to look like. And now uh, your text is done, and when it's done, you want to make it a PNG. And this being that you don't want to have a black background, and then you want to go into Photoshop manually, use Magic Wand to get rid of it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to Render Settings, and you want to call it whatever. So I did banner text because I put on my banner. Call it whatever you want. Um, no, I'm just, I have it saved already. Uh, you want to go to format, PNG, uh, make sure that alpha channel is selected because it's going to be unchecked like that. You want to make sure that it's selected and then uh, go ahead and when all that's done, make sure uh, what I do typically is 1080 by 720. Just make sure it's HD. Um, the, the Lightroom is going to make it 1600 by whatever it was at. And when that's all done, you want to click the middle button, but since I already have it rendered, um, it's yeah, it's gonna be already rendered. So you're gonna hit the middle button, that's gonna render it all out, um, and it's gonna be where you saved it at. So if this tutorial did help you, please leave a like down below, and if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button because it helps me out a lot, and I'll be doing more tutorials like this as I progress further on through my channel experience. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Again, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys.